Hey guys, it is Michelle. Sorry about the weird lighting. My normal lights are in a weird area um, and I can't really reach them, so I am using the light that I got from my Jeffree Star mystery box. I think this was the last mystery that he did. I think this came out in the... Why did it go out? Apparently it has like a timer that it goes out. I didn't know that. So I'm just gonna hang that. That is so weird. I think we are actually running out of light on it. Yeah, it needs to be charged. Okay, so we aren't going, it needs to be charged, so obviously that is not gonna happen. So um, we got this weird lighting situation and I apologize for that. Um, so I'm gonna go charge that after I'm done with this video because I don't have my charger in here for it. Eh. It is what it is. Anyway, I want to show you the things that I picked up um, earlier today. I have a party I'm going to tomorrow, and I had to pick up a polish to match my outfit, so you'll see that outfit tomorrow. I'm going to film this outfit later as well, but um, I want to show you what I picked up. So we'll start with what I got the craft shop first. I got this like light green chartreuse color yarn. I've been looking at this for a while. I'm working on a project. And I have a ball that I was given of this kind of color. There wasn't enough for my project and I've been looking for a while. I don't know why this color is hard to find. I've been to like three or four different stores and I didn't find it. So I got this. It was like two or three bucks. So that was nice. This is made by the company Big Twist. It was on sale. It's um, a Joanne's fabric brand, I believe. But I got that. Next, I got um, this Stretch Magic. Now, when I went to Hobby Lobby, it's weird because these places, like, they don't all have the same sizes. I was going crazy. So this is the closest that I thought. It is a size bigger than what I'm already using. Like, it's just weird. Like, the packaging alone is kind of odd to me. I don't know. I'm just going to order from Hobby Lobby's website next time, I think. Hopefully this will work. We will find out. I'm sure it'll be fine. But it's a little bit bigger than what I normally use. It was a little bit more expensive. But given how far Hobby Lobby is from where I actually live, it saved me a crap ton of gas so the next thing I bought were these cord ends um, I haven't been able to find these anywhere so I got two packs of these because I have an idea for a necklace and if it's successful I'm gonna need a lot more so I grabbed two packs I used to have tons of these um, I stopped doing jewelry for a while as you guys know and I'm getting back into it and I needed some of these so I'm hoping the project that I've been working on for this is gonna be Jeff's kiss we will see um, how it works out because it could go one of two ways i don't know how it's gonna end but got those for that and the last thing i got were these hematite stone stars i used to have these years ago i bought them at a beatery um when i would visit new york there was a woodstock beatery it's been out of business for a very long time and I found these at Joann's and they were on sale. I saved like five bucks on them. They were like $3.99. I think they were like normally $9. They were having a sale. So I grabbed these, which was awesome for the price. So next I, I'm gonna just like do this all at once. Um, I guess we'll do the colors first. So my dress that I'm gonna be wearing is a very bubbly pink. The theme of the party is spring. And they're like, we're springy colors. I think most of them are actually wearing white shirts because some of them like to do the matchy matchy thing. Your girl is not about that life. You know me, I'm a little extra at times. <laughs> I think that's why you love me, right? So we picked out a few colors and this is the color that I believe I'll be wearing. Um, first, I needed a new top coat because my top coat is so old and I've used it so many times, like some of the polishes have gotten into it. So it's like got this red tinge to it. So it's not really good anymore. I just got the LA Colors one. Um, I haven't used LA Colors in a long time and I'm hoping it don't fail me now. Um, I forgot how good it was or how not good it was. I know I hate Revlon. I've never had a good Revlon polish, but I got this. It's a top coat. We'll see how it goes. I also got this color because it's like a Robin's egg blue and Joey really likes that color. Um, it is in the, what is the name of the color? It's called Chill Out. It's kind of similar to a Tiffany blue, but a little on the lighter side. I do have a Tiffany blue. I, it's it's for Audrey from China Glaze. I like that color a lot, um, but it's a little darker, obviously, because you know, it's like a Tiffany color. But this is a more of a Robin's egg blue. So this is the color that I will be wearing tomorrow. It is in the shade Family Ties. 
And this is a Color Last one by LA Colors. Again, I haven't used LA Colors in a very, very long time. I don't remember anything bad about it. We will see. As long as it's better than Revlon, I don't care. So there's that. And then Joey picked out this one as well. This is in the color Banana Split. Um, the company is... I can't make out the company name. It says Dippin' Dots, but I'm not sure if that is the, like... I don't think that's the name of the brand. It's like an S. I, I can't tell. But it's called Banana Split. It's a yellowy color. I normally don't do yellows. Um, but for summer, it might be fun. We will see. So that's what I got at Walmart. It was like five bucks, maybe, for all those. Next, I went to um, TJ Maxx, which I initially went because I was looking for OPI polishes. They had some nice colors, but they were all jewel tones, and that's what I typically am drawn to. If you've seen my collection, you guys know I love my jewel tones. Um, I was wearing a, a, this is OPI's DLI Lacket. It was a gift in a, a swap box that I did with somebody years and years ago. Um, it's been a long time now. It's chipping, so I gotta change it. But I bought this one there because OPI, if you do find them at Walmart, because some Walmarts do carry them, are about 10 bucks. And if you go to the beauty supplies, they're even more. Um, TJ Maxx has them for about five. So this is in the color Pink Flamingo, and it was $5. And it's absolutely beautiful. I get a lot of OPI polish from there. I love OPI. It tends to be my favorite brand. And uh, Deborah Lipman, I think, is the other one that I really, really enjoy. I have three of her colors, but those are super expensive. If I do find them at TJ Maxx, I pick them up there because her polish is like $20. It's pretty expensive. I'm not paying that for nail liqueur. But yeah, so I got that one. And as you can see, this one's brighter. This one's actually more true to the dress color, but I do need colors outside the jewel tone realm, which is why we ended up with all of these. So we got that. Last and certainly not least, I found a Fenty Beauty item at TJ Maxx, and I was super excited. I love her Trophy Wife highlighter. It is gorgeous. And this was on sale for $7.99. It is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighting Duo, and the color is Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset, and it was $7.99. So when I saw the price, I was like, I know what I paid for Trophy Wife. It was very, it was not $7.99, I'll tell you that. So I had to grab one. So this is, the packaging is iconic. So excited for this and I hate when you go to like I know TJ Maxx is like you know discounted because it's like not stuff they're using anymore or it's a discounted uh, discontinued color but I hate when people have to put their effing fingers in the stuff it's like dude don't do that like somebody can't buy that now so oh it is so pretty I'm not sure if I would use that one color as a highlight but look at that this is like a really rich kind of gold, but it's like, a, it's a shimmer where this one actually has like glitter specks in it. These are pretty, this would be a beautiful blush. Love it. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. You guys, I love Trophy Wife. I love, who doesn't love, I always pronounce her name wrong. Rihanna, I think is how you pronounce it. Rihanna, yeah. I sometimes say Rihanna, and I think that's because of the old song. It's a very old song. If you know which one I'm talking about, let me know down below. But uh, Rihanna's, I mean, like I said, I love Trophy Wife. Everybody loves Savage X Fenty. Um, she puts out quality products. And when I saw this for the price, I had to grab it. I wish they had different colors. Otherwise, I would have grabbed some more. But um, can't go wrong. Um, so, yeah, that was my little score. <sighs> I mean, I'm hoping that my projects work out with the stuff I bought for the... I know that the yarn will be fine. It's the other two things that I'm a little worried about, but we'll take it as it goes. And I got some fun new polishes because I never wear... You guys know me. I'm a jewel tone kind of girl or glitter and shimmers. Those are pretty much the colors I love to wear. Um, I normally wear like champagnes or silvers for work just because they go with just about every outfit. I love my deep colors, my jewel tones. Those are what your girl loves. I don't do like I call these like Easter egg colors. These are not normally what I go for. But I was like, you need to break out of it because you can't be wearing a burgundy nail polish in summertime all the time. Even though you love it, you can't always wear it. So I got some fun colors. I'm excited. And I'm really excited because I have a really cute idea. But I gotta cut my nails because I actually 
like my nail like it's completely off it was bleeding and stuff um, when I went and got gas um, it's a long story but um, the short version of it is um, my fingernail ended up getting ripped off so we'll leave it at that but anyway guys so that was my little haul I'm so excited look how I'm, I'm so excited to try this one. I love Trophy Wife, so I'm hoping I'm gonna love this as well. I'm so excited. Um, so, nothing crazy. Um, I still need to get some new clothes because like, I've been going through like my summer stuff and there's a few things I need to get rid of just because they're old and out, not necessarily outdated, but worn out. And yeah, so that's gonna be the next thing. So, I'm looking for We'll, we'll do a sit and chat about that, I think. Okay? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.